Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Casual Geeky Gaming, and you can call me Casual. And this is episode number 79 of my Death Stranding Let's Play. Now, in the last episode, we gave the extinction entity a big old hug and stopped the last stranding, apparently. And in this episode, we will see where the rest of the story takes us. So, if you're a geek to see where the story takes us uh, with me, scroll down, click like, click subscribe, leave me a comment. And make sure you watch the video all the way through until the end so you get the full experience that I'm trying to bring to you. With that being said, let's get started. Let's hop right on into it. A gun won't help you here, but it still has a role to play. Make a decision and bring this to an end. Um, all right. Norman, oh, wait. Credits. We won. Can I move? I can move. I wasn't even running that time. Quiet, and I'll tell you. There is no time for questions. When you were young, you used to have bad dreams. You cried about them all the time. The truth is, those weren't your dreams. They were mine. For as long as I can remember, I've dreamt of the beach. Not just while sleeping, in my waking hours, too. In my dreams, I watched the world end so many times. Countless past extinctions that decimated life on this planet. Again, and again, and again. At first, I didn't understand what I was seeing or why. And that wasn't the worst of it. There were other, more terrible dreams. Dreams of death and destruction. Of a massive extinction to come. And I would always be the one to end it all. To bring about the last stranding. As I have today. Alright. Let's keep running then. Hold on. Hold that thought. First operation. I was only twenty. I opened my eyes and found myself on the beach. But the moment I came round, I was back in the hospital bed. I was split across two worlds. Bridget. My ha in that one. Amelie, my ka in this. Somehow, the two of us managed to coexist. Soon, our ages began to diverge. Amelie Bridget's body got older, while the beach kept Amelie's the same. So I came up with a story. I told people that Amelie was my daughter. A daughter with a debilitating condition 
and an absent father. Look. Amelie. Um is French for soul. <sighs> A soul that's a lie. There was no Amelie. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Only me and the beach. I thought it was a curse in the beginning. But later, I started thinking. Maybe I can use this. I tried to find out more about the beach. Because understanding the beach had to be the key to interpreting my visions of the future. Okay, so that's a little more. Let's see what else we can squeeze out of here. I realized the beach was connected to the world of the dead, which meant that somewhere out beyond it were the memories of time itself, including those of every organism that had ever lived. 4.6 billion years of biological history, a history that might even stretch back to the creation of the universe. The chiral network and everything that followed was born from my pursuit of that knowledge. By passing data through the beach, we were unbound by the restrictions of time. Simulations that would have taken years or more were simple and effortless. Everything that the Earth had lost and forgotten could be reconstructed and reclaimed. But shortly after we began our research, America saw its first void out. I thought I was running out of time, that my nightmares were becoming a reality. So, I raced to complete the chiral network as quickly as possible. The past held all the answers. If only I could find a way to piece them together. A network that bridged our world and the beach. That might do it, I believed. So, I started researching bridge babies. Children bound to the world of the dead. What causes an extinction entity to come into being? What was the reason for the previous five mass extinctions? The answers to those questions would tell me how to stop the sixth. I founded Bridges, more determined than ever to build a chiral network that would cover all of America. But the longer I fought my war against the inevitable, the weaker I became. My ha had cancer. The beach's punishment, maybe, for not playing along like a good little EE. -E. And then, just like that, my ha was gone. I couldn't finish what I'd started. So, I asked you to do it for me. And you did. You helped us complete the network. Helped us to reclaim everything the universe experienced from its inception to this moment. Every mystery was ours to solve, like this one. Once, there was an explosion. A big bang that gave birth to time and space. Thing is, it was more like a big fluke. All that matter and antimatter should have cancelled itself out, leaving nothing. But somehow, somehow a tiny speck of matter survived. Just enough. Enough to make this world and everything in it. A world that shouldn't be, a world out of balance. Order inevitably gives way to chaos. Everything that lives must inevitably die. It's like the universe is trying to return us to the nothing we came from. Maybe the Big Five were its best attempts to finish us off. But somehow... Life always managed to survive just enough. Enough to thumb its nose at the will of the cosmos. You know, I'm starting to think that extinction might be the key to overcoming total annihilation. It forces life to fight to survive, to endure, to exist. That's why the Big Five ultimately rekindled life instead of extinguishing it. 
From the ashes of the dead rise the living. Stronger and wiser. Inheritors of the legacy of existence itself. They defy the universe and refuse to surrender. They say, we're just getting started. Extinction is an opportunity. Okay. I wonder how many of these little cutscenes there are. I wonder how many of these little cutscenes there are. trigger twice that day. I knew at once I'd made a mistake. I found your beach and looked everywhere for you. Sam. There you are. Free from death once and for all. It's okay. I know the way. Hey, that's the same thing she said when we first got to her beach. But in doing so, I upset the fundamental balance between life and death. I just wanted to save you. I am an extinction entity. It's my fate to lead our species to extinction. But that moment, you became part of that fate. You became a repatriate, and dooms started spreading my nightmares to others throughout the world. It was me that got you and everyone with dooms into this. Not long after, the Death Stranding occurred. The dead clung to our world, and BTs used my beach to cross over and devour them, triggering more void outs. A catalyst that would set the world on a path to extinction. It was my duty to serve as a sacrifice, to wait and watch it unfold from this beach. That or hasten the last stranding and end this slow death. Given these, my only options, I chose to end it quickly. But to trigger the last stranding, I needed you, a part of me. Here too. I would be able to witness extinction consummated with you by my side. But now that you're here, there's another choice. You can cut me off. An EE -E doesn't have that option for itself. But in my nightmares, I saw another future. One that you chose. One where extinction is hope against total annihilation. Here we go. I wonder how many more of these there are. I guess we keep... Oh, nope, never mind. That's the full credits. That sounds so weird in my ears. Probably it then. Let's just double check just to make sure. Well, 
Let's double check just to make sure. Ooh, that Santa Monarchy unit. Hello. Oh, great. And it's going to transport me back to the beach. And then, if we can get back to the green again, then that's it. I like completeness, so... Nope, that's it. we go. There we go. Let me get to that point where it'll zap us back to the beach. And then I'll just let you watch the credits and I'll come back and see if there's anything else that uh, needs our attention. See you when the credits are over.
Can I get out now? Nope. Not. Nope. 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 Maybe. Oh, wait, he's got the gun out now. Let's see what happens. Oh, God, he got no, the gun out now. Here. Let's see what happens. But it still has a role to play. Boom. Look at those strands. Let's reconnect with the living. Listen, Sam. I was the one that brought you and Cliff together again. There was something I wanted you to know. You were never abandoned. And you're not alone. Don't you see, Sam? You have to live. And let's try this for the umpteenth time. I'm not really sure how many times I've tried this. But I loaded it up again, and there was no sound. The first time I first... The last good time. So, a thing about this scene here is we are going to stop Amelie. And then, well, you'll see. When this mission ends, if you don't fidget with your settings, um, let's, uh, if you don't fidget with your settings, it'll just freeze on you. So what you have to do is go into your stream, uh, it, go into your options of the game. You'll see a section for stream memory or memory for streaming or something to that effect. And it's on highest and you have to drop it back to default. And that will make you... And that will make you pass the get past this part so it took me probably two hours to get to that point to figure that much out well I didn't figure it out reddit told me but uh so it took me probably two hours to find the answer on reddit playing through the game replaying the scene over and over and then I finally get there and none of the game audio recorded and after that is a pretty big cutscene that should probably have the game audio so here I am for the probably sixth time recording this. So, yay! I hear you. I hear you. I still don't understand. It wasn't really explained to me. The people that hide in the... Or not hide, but live in the rainbows. Like, who are those people? All right. Here we go. Up oh, there she is. Boom. Let's chug on down. Chug on down. Truck on down. Don't give up. You're still connected. Still connected to what? That doesn't explain what those people are. Is that Fragile and Sam and Lou and... Fragile and Sam and Lou and... I don't know. Die Hardman? Gotcha. Yoik! Yep, we are under the water. We still wear the Cupid, apparently, because I'm not sure who that is. Seriously, man, why do you have to look that creepy when doing this? That is not a natural happy. 
Okay, so we are back in the repatriation screen, so let's go to the repatriate, repatriate thread, strand, the gold one. And let us, boom! And then our miscolored baby that's blue, still gives us the thumbs up though. And boom. So this is the after the mission, so S rank awesome, obviously. Kind of hard to screw that one up. Here we go. This. This. For that. too long have we lived as strangers to one another. Divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now with the completion of the Cairo network, we may at last move forward as a people united. Today, we come together to celebrate the birth of a new nation. A new nation for a new world. The United Cities of America. I once took an oath to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby swear to support and defend you the people. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who we are. Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another. Where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. Now, the old ways die hard. But I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our future. The Death Stranding is a part of that past. An enduring shadow. A constant reminder of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament, not to the greatness of any one individual, but to our capacity to come together, to the bonds between us, to our collective greatness. All things must come to an end, ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, Find joy in the promise of tomorrow. Embrace hope and reject despair. We will endure. President Bridget Strand and her daughter, Samantha America Strand, sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we, the people, might be whole again. That they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness. But we find comfort in the knowledge that their memories will live on in the Cairo network and in our hearts. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story. One whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. America still needs that hero. That person without whom we would not be here. Now, the name is unimportant. But you know who I mean. And for that unsung hero, I have a message. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, we will be... Going somewhere, Sam? Tired of being the unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh. This doesn't bother you anymore? Well, that's great. Now, 
Wouldn't you like to know how we brought you back from the beach? We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy, which is when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Yes. What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Hmm. Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. Unfortunately... It didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her beach loose. It was just... gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond, or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. Hartman and Mama split up, and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely nothing to show for it. A month on the outside? How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. But don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. In the end, this is what led us to you. Just when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So, we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lachna via their connection, and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDE. The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position, so we could rescue you. But it's not so easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And that's where the umbilical cord came in. We wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The President must have known all of this would happen. Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. Hmm. Amelie, she said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of putting it. You have no idea how long I've been waiting to give you a hug. Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. Bibi's mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common law wife. Lisa Bridges? Uh, uh, now, Cliff was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. Former U.S. Special Forces. Quite good at it by all accounts later appointed as an aide to the president, who used him for most of her wet work. The records go on to state that he vanished after Cliff's death. A warrant was put out, but he was later found dead. Turns out some people die harder than others, though. Dear John donned a mask and reappeared with a new identity. But you can't fool the Cairo network. We restored the old records, and Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges. Take a look if you're so inclined. But don't say I didn't warn you. The President's got some dirty, dirty laundry. I don't trust him. But I'll work with him if that's what it takes. We'll talk later. Sam. I don't expect you to forgive me. But would you hear me out? I killed Captain Clifford Unger. I would tell you I did it for America. For love of country. But I didn't. I did it for her. 
because I loved her with all my heart. She was everything to me. Everything. Now, I'm not trying to make excuses. I just want you to know that not a day's gone by when I haven't thought about it. Time didn't help. Or the mask. Please, let me finish. He... The captain saved my life. You know why they call me Die Hartman. Because he wouldn't let me die. He brought my sorry ass back home every time. And I loved him. As much as I loved her. <laughs> and when he stared me down, that ghost, I knew he was here to kill me, to make it right. And why shouldn't he? <laughs> why didn't he? He couldn't save his, his kid, his baby. And that's what brought him back. I guess when he, he saw I was trying to do my part for America. He remembered who he was. And he forgave me. God! But I don't deserve it, God damn it! There is no atoning for what I've done. Dead God! Yo! <laughs> is the next best thing. Maybe he brought me back from the beach for a reason. One last time. <laughs> he wanted me to do this. To keep on being Die Hardman. No. He didn't. Nobody wants a president who acts like they're immortal. And if you're not scared of death, how can you value life? And life is pretty fucking fragile right now. And yeah, the old ways die hard. But that's what's gonna have to happen if we're gonna come together and build a better America. That gun won't help you here. That's her words, not mine. Thank you, Sam. <sighs> okay. So that was that. Yep, more. Never mind. Hey, Sam. Been waiting for you. Lou? <laughs> Dead? 
poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. The decommissioning order finally came through. Can't risk necrosis. The body can't stay here. I thought you might want to take care of it. You could try taking Lou out of the pot just to see what happens. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. And there are laws about that kind of thing, now that we're a nation. I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But if the alternative is defying the president, I can't do that either. Not me. All right. I'll go to the incinerator. Before you leave, I'd like to check something quickly. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. I trust you'll remember what I said. Right. Absolutely. weather. Don't think you'll be needing an umbrella. I decided to follow my father's dream after all. Don't worry. I won't get mixed up with any terrorists this time. UCA's got my back. We're the first private delivery company to get the official approval. Sounds like you're moving up in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. Wait, there's something I have to tell you. I didn't shoot Higgs. Couldn't pull the trigger. So I let him choose. Death or eternal solitude on the beach. Well, fair enough. You never did like breaking things. That's right. I find and fix what's broken. And reconnect. I'm fragile, but not, not that, that fragile. fragile. <laughs> Want to come work for me? Could use a man like you. The world's still broken. Same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? Doesn't mean there's a place for me. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. I still do. Don't act like you're the same person. You've learned how to touch, to feel. 
You've connected with people. With us? Everything I touch, I lose. Sam! Everything I touch, I lose. One last delivery. Episode 14, Lou. Alright, let us, uh, system, save it on up, yep. Save it on up, yep. And I can bring this episode to an end. Now... This is the point of the episode when I just wanted to say thank you if you've made it with me this far. I know you could spend your time doing anything you wanted and you decided to spend it with me. And for that, I am sincerely and truly appreciative. And if you're geeked about it too, scroll down, click like, click subscribe, leave me a comment. And make sure you come back for the exciting conclusion of Death Stranding. And with that, I am out. See ya!